work. Here's the original problem. Again, you can push pause, work through the problem yourself to the best of your ability. There are no new concepts here. It is just applying what you know, but again, read the title using more than one pair of congruent triangles. Okay, so push pause, then you can come back. All right, here is the problem filled in. I'm gonna go through it as I did step by step. In the red, you'll see that I have the given marked. And where I start with this is I also look and say, okay, what am I trying to prove? AC is perpendicular to BD. Well, if I want to prove AC and BD are perpendicular, it would be great if I could prove 3 and 4 congruent. But that may be getting a little ahead of myself. Given the red angles here, what I look to say, I probably need some tr congruent triangles. I see that they are both part of these triangles. This one and this one. So I start with the given to help me, which one should I prove? What should I do first? And I see the green triangles. They're both part of these green triangles. So I said AC was congruent to AC by reflexive. And then I said the triangles were congruent by ASA. Okay. Now, again, I'm not done because that's not helping me prove these are perpendicular. I need to go now, what I really like to do is now prove that these triangles are congruent, the blue. And you'll see, if you want to try and use the different colored colors, you could. So now I'm going to try and use the fact that the green were congruent to prove the blue were congruent. Well, I already have the, um, one and two are congruent. The next thing that I did was I said that these two parts were congruent by CPCTC. That's this step right here. And then I say it said AO was congruent to itself by reflexive. Now I can prove the blue triangle is congruent by SAS. Then I said angle 3 is equal to angle 4 by CPCTC. Um, angle 3 plus angle 4 equals 180 by angle addition. Then I just substituted in here, from here, I took the angle 4 and substituted angle 3 in its place and then angle 3 equals 90 because if you divide both sides by 2 you get 90. Once I've proven a 90 degree angle I can say they're perpendicular. So again I started with the green triangles. How I figured that out is I looked at the given and looked what parts of the triangles, which triangles those were in and then moved to the triangles I wished I could prove congruent. All right. Okay that's the same thing. All right, here is another one, and for this one, again, I'd like you to try it yourself, then come back and see the answer. All right, here's the answer. Again, I'm going to talk through it, but again, I'm starting with, look what I marked in red. That's what I was given. So before I get worried about this, I'm going to look and say, okay, what part, what triangles are these a part of? And I'm going to outline those in green. Okay. So I say, okay, well, the given gives me these triangles. And I can prove the two green triangles can grow into each other. I just need a little part of the VSVS VS by reflexive. And now I can prove the green triangles are congruent by ASA. All right, well, that's great. But see the TU and TW that I want to prove? Those aren't part of the green triangles. So now I'm going to go bigger. Now, yes, you, there is a way, I'm, I'm going to show you one way, this one actually could be done a couple different ways, where you could probably show, you could do, prove these triangles are congruent. What I did is I went to here and went to the larger triangles. So I'm going to prove the larger triangles are congruent, so the two blue. Again, you can do these. If you if you chose to do those, that's okay. I can check that proof for you. I'm just going the way I did. Okay. Um, so I said UV, because now that I've proven the green triangle is congruent, I know their corresponding parts are congruent. So I used that to prove UV equals VW. I knew TV was equal to TV by reflexive. And now I can prove the blue triangles can run by SAS. S, here's the side, here's the angle, and then the side is here. 
And then I have my TU equals TW by CPCTC. Again, this isn't the only way that problem could be done. I do see a case for being able to prove these two are congruent. I'm just showing you one way it could be done. Okay, again, you're going to look at this one, push pause, try it, and then come back. All right, again, what I started with here was marking everything in red that was given. I want to prove AB is congruent to CD. Again, this one is another one where I could see you doing it in two different ways. I'm going to show you the way I did it, but there is another way this could be done. So what I decided to go with was looking at these two triangles first. Like I said, this is not the only way it can be done. So I went with these two triangles and I said, well, listen, these two together would be equal. They're made of like equal parts. So what I started with was saying angle AXO, which is truly the angle I need for the green triangle, and CYO, which is the angle I truly need for the other green triangle. I said, listen, those are made of these parts by angle addition. And then what I basically did is I took this right here and I added equal things to both sides. So I added this to both sides. That's where this statement came from and that's why it's the addition property of equality. I started with the underline and added equal parts to both sides. Then by substitution, all I did here was replace this with this and same on the other side. So by substitution, I can say the whole angles are congruent to each other. And now I can prove the green triangles congruent by SAS. All right, that's good, but it doesn't help me get these little parts in here. So then I switched my focus to the blue triangles because those had the A, B, and C, D I wanted. So again, I said angle A was congruent to angle C by C, P, C, T, C. And then once I had that, I truly could prove the triangles congruent A, the blue, S, this side here, A over here, and then C, P, C, T, C for this one. Now again, I could see another argument for the two smaller triangles here, little V, A, T, proving they were congruent by A, S, A, um, and then working over to the blue triangles from there. So more than one way to do the problems. This is just one way you could have done it. Here is the next problem. Again, try it yourself and then come back. All right, and again, more than one way to do it. I marked in red what I started with was given. I chose these two triangles because each of them had these green triangles because they had the equal parts I was given. So that's the given. Then I use vertical angle to prove that these angles were congruent. And then I had my side angle side, side angle side, side angle side, so I could prove the triangles congruent. Once I had those congruent, I started looking for a different set of triangles. I decided to look at these. Again, more than one way to do it, but this is the way I did it. Okay. I said angle K is congruent to angle P by CPCTC because you see those angles are also part of the green triangles. Then I use a vertical angle theorem again over here. Then once I had that, I could prove the triangles congruent by ASA, ASA, and I could prove the congruence I wanted with CPCTC. So this section is about using more than one pair of congruent triangles. I hope you saw that what I started with was looking at the given and trying to find which triangle that belonged to. And once I had that and I could prove those triangles congruent, I could use their corresponding parts to prove another set of triangles were congruent.